Ooh, good morning. It's another freezing 16 degrees out this Sunday, December 22nd. Getting ready to come into Christmas. Um, the market will not be here next week, the week after Christmas. Um, so we're going to have to miss a week, unfortunately. So we're going to get out. We're going to go find some goodies this morning. Now, Bill just opened the doors on the back of his van. So I'm not in like a super hurry to go get elbowed by a bunch of people um but i brought some company with me today mm, who is that i don't know maybe i'll tell you later who that is it's my kid <laughs> it's my kid my child you've seen the two little ones this is the big one he's 20 he talks back a lot more sometimes don't make me a boy <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a bit. It's a beautiful day in the flea market hood. A beautiful day in the flea market hood. Would you flea market with me? Would you flea market with me? All right, let's go see this feeding frenzy that's already begun. These guys are crazy. The boxes drop, and then they just, like, go nuts. And it's like, look, look, feed me. Feed me. All right, see you in a bit. Let's find some treasure. It's legitimately like 16 to 18 degrees out. I cannot feel my fingers, hence why there's a lot of time in between the intro and now for you to see anything at all. Um, how's your fingers? Yeah. You good? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's rough. It hurts. It hurts bad. So I'm going to show you really quick what I got at Bill's. Um, we're going to go back. We're going to revisit Bill's. I'll film while I'm going through the second time. It's just so cold right now. Eric hasn't opened up his van yet, so let me give you a quick peek at some of the some of the things I snagged at Bill's. Um, just it, it, well, not a whole lot this week. This this is in killer shape. Never colored in 1984 original Transformers. This is amazing. This is a cool piece. I wonder how many of these actually survived without getting colored in. You got this really nice planner killer deco looking uh, bookend it was a single with the Native American on it and we got some cool items here we got the bird shakers there's two birds that sit on the little perch but we got some little art glass deer this is really cool this official Boy Scout wallet and it's original box that's cool it might be a Christmas gift for my dad I'm not sure yet um, but yeah so we got some cool stuff oh these <laughs> these have zoobs on it. I don't know what these are yet. I'm not sure. I haven't folded them out. I don't know. I don't care. They have Civil War soldiers. So I will unfold those later and we will see what those are all about. Um, oh, and there's another big, huge book full of postcards. A lot of old stuff. So, all right. I'm going to venture over towards Eric's and wait for him to open up. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Let the feeding frenzy begin. Mmm, treasure. <laughs> Let's go check out some boxes. Let's see, we got some treasures. Is a lamp finial. We'll grab that. Let's see what else we got here. Coral. Here we go. Books. Oh, he's cool. Play box. I'm just gonna take this whole thing. Alright. Here's where we go. Box. Uh, it's 
stay there. Don't touch. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch it. Is it Sterling? Could be. Check it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that noise you hear is the heater in the car. I'm frozen. I can't feel my hands. It's 15 degrees out right now. It has gotten colder since we got here and the sun came up. It was 18 when we left the house. Yeah. And it is now 15 degrees, and I'm in the car with the heat on, trying to get some feeling back in my hands and feet. I've got one box of stuff stashed in Eric's van. Um, once I get a little, there's numbness to go away, I'm gonna go back out. Um, yes, I know, I know, I should have gloves. Blah, 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 yeah, 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 whatever. I can't grab things when I have gloves on, um, especially if they're paper items or tiny little small items. It just becomes really like a pain in the butt. Um, but uh, but yeah, so we're gonna warm up for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna go back out. We'll go through Eric's boxes again. I'll show you some of the stuff that I got there, and then we'll take a walk back over to Bill's and see what I missed over there. We'll take a run down to Dave's. So plenty of video left. Stay tuned, and we will see you in a little bit. Dish. All right. Actually, I'll tell you what. If you want, you can stick this stuff in the box. In well, just next to the box. We have a big box full of stuff in there from this morning already. So, and we'll go over that. That's got some age to it. That's kind of cool. It's Asian baskets. Cool. I think this is one of those deals where I just think this stuff is really cool, and I want both baskets. Both baskets, yes, absolutely. I like those. See, I don't always catch everything the first time through it. It's impossible. There's always stuff to see. Pheasants. Some scout uniforms. I got plenty of uniforms. The uniforms don't sell very well. And I don't see any good patches on them. Uh, let's see. Got some China. This was here before. Both of these were here before. It's a shame. It's a pretty terrain, but it's got some damage. Otherwise, I'd grab that because it's a really nice looking piece. Some trains. So we got going on a little autumn jewel tea. There's so many of those available. They're a pain in the tush to get rid of. That plate is pretty. Can I reach and grab that? Let's see what that says. Silesia, old ivory. Oh, that's gorgeous. How did I miss that? That's a pretty plate. I like that. We're gonna grab that. Ooh, it's heavy. What is it? Um, probably like alabaster or something. What's in it? Put your hand out. Let's see what's in it. There's treasure in there. It's treasure, man. You can drill some wood with that drill bit and then paper clip it together when you break it. <laughs> That's cool. Actually, you know what? Let's grab that. That's actually made pretty nice. Why don't you go ahead and leave the drill bit in the box and then go ahead and grab that. Yeah, let's grab that. That's a that's a cool piece. There's no damage to it. No. That's, I didn't see any damage. Yeah, it's no. that's heavy. That's made out of like alabaster or something. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. And it's got the swan on it. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's grab that one. I like that. Good eye. I should have grabbed that. Piece of carnival glass. I don't know. Should I? Uh, should I? Should I? Should I? Nah. Well, here's the thing. Is 
I've had a lot of folks asking for carnival glass, and it's a small enough piece, and it's really, it's, it's fairly inexpensive here. So I'll pick it up, and if somebody can use it, they'll be happy with it. I don't see any damage. Or is that, is that a crack going right through it? Or is that a bubble? Bubble. No. Is that a bubble or a crack? Is that a bubble or a crack? I don't know. We'll have to take a look at that and get back to you. I'll let Walter figure that out. Let me know what you think, buddy. Is that a bubble or a crack? We're going to play the game. You guys guess while he's looking and, and see what he comes back with. This is an interesting piece of glass. I think it's a bubble. This is, oh, this is an inkwell. Ooh, I like that. Red glass inkwell. Oh, and this is the second one of those other ones I grabbed. I don't know if these are silver or not, so we can test these. They actually look like they might be silver. It's a bubble. It's a bubble. Okay, so we're going to grab those. We're going to put this in the van. It's yes, yes. Please put that in the van. What do we got here? This is a funky little piece. I think this is a gun tool. This very well could be a gun tool. Oh, sand dollars. I love sand dollars. You know what, we're gonna save those because they're getting the snot beat out of them in here. We got some cross rifles. Oh, those are toy ones. That's a toy cross rifle. I like that. What do we got here? What's this little button? I like these little random mystery boxes of stuff that you come across. Now I'm throwing this around. I didn't even look in this bag. What is this? Boy child. What is this? Is that rocks in a bag? Pebbles in a pouch. What do we have? The world wants to know what's in the bag. Are they natural rocks or are they laboratory rocks. created rocks? They're not rocks. It's screws. Hardware. Oh, they're little rivet pins. Okay. All right, leave them in the bag. Tie the bag back up so they don't go everywhere called courtesy oh that's cool oh that's really cool oh we're gonna grab that I like old paper stuff like that thank let's see let's see what do we got here oh that's like totally destroyed whatever that was oh that's a shame is that a lamp finial that's a lamp finial hey can you hold this little salted peanut bag thing just so it doesn't get destroyed in my hand those fans are destroyed <laughs> one cent for some peanuts that's destroyed that's a shame we got some more scout uniform stuff all right Hello, Mr. Eric. I'm gonna put some more treasures in my treasure box here. Here's a little peek at some of the stuff we grabbed here. I snagged this guy. This is cool. Really nice winter scene. It's on a little child's shovel, hand painted. But the uh, shovel looks like it's got a little age to it too. It's cool. But yeah, we got uh, we got a bunch of goodies in here. We got Santa, Mrs. Claus. We got these guys in blue, the ones I normally see in pink. My coffee. Mary, my coffee is out in 15 degree weather and it's still hot. Thank you, Mary. You're the queen of Murano and coffee cups. All right, so I'm gonna go check out what Bill's got that we missed this morning. Um, and get out of Eric's way. Oh wait, I have a plate under my arm. I have that solution plate under my arm. I forgot all about that. All right, so I'm gonna go scope out Bill's again, and then uh, off to Dave's, and then back here to see what we've got. I see a couple extra boxes. Mm, extra boxes. I like extra boxes. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, time for a little teaching moment. All right, I found these in one of the boxes out there at the bottom of the box, rifling through. And these are clay trade pipes. Um, one of the things about clay pipes is you can tell the age of them by the size of the bowl. 
the smaller the bowl, the older the pipe. Tobacco was more expensive in the 1600s. Their bowls were tiny and small. Um, later in the 1800s, the bowls got huge because tobacco got much cheaper. So we got a few of those. And I snagged these little guys. These are awesome. These are, these are made in uh, West Germany, these little fuzzy guys. There's a fox and some bears, giraffe, lion, zebra, horse. Oh, there's, those are cool. Um, and then I spotted these. Eric snagged these out of a box, and I was like, oh, these are great. Look at this, set of three. Somebody had that priced at $105. They're old. They are old. I snagged some marbles. And there is, there is, there is. Where is it? It's in here. It's right here. This one. See the red and blue swirl? Do you know why it's a red and blue swirl? And do you know what this one is called? Superman. This is actually a good marble. Desirable. These are cool. These are interesting. I don't, we don't know what these are yet. They're not marked. This one's marked ABG. Now... I don't know. I There's two that are marked ABG, three marked ABG, and two that are not, and the artwork is different. So you can see the difference in the dog and the dots and the rim and everything is different on those two versus these three. And then whoever did those three did this one. So I'm not sure about those yet, what they are. And then Paul. Thank you, Paul. I love that. Paul gave me a man bun for Christmas. It's amazing. All right, there we go. So we're gonna go look some more and let's go see what Bill's got left. Right, see you in a bit. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs> 